We believe that creativity lies in all of us. It's what makes us human. And there's never been a more exciting or empowering time to be a creator. That's because a technology called Interactive 3D is changing the way we live and work. In the future, Interactive 3D will power the games we play, the movies we watch, and the virtual worlds we spend our time in. And the future is closer than we think. So what is Interactive 3D? Interactive 3D simulates the real world in a meaningful way, freeing us to interact with the digital world. It involves bringing 3D models into a real-time engine where behaviors and intelligence can be applied. Things like lighting, VFX, cinematics, user interaction, physics, and artificial intelligence. The result isn't a simple image or video. It's a three-dimensional world you can explore and change. In the past, it may have taken hours, if not days, for a final image to render. But with real-time 3D tools like Unreal Engine, the process is almost instantaneous. By learning Unreal Engine and real-time 3D skills, you'll be at the forefront of technical innovation and artistry. And you'll be equipped for the exciting jobs of tomorrow. A world where everyone is a creator and anything is possible. Interactive 3D is revolutionising a wide range of industries. What started off as a tool for the gaming industry, now is being utilised across all levels of creativity and is really taking off in the fashion industry. One of the reasons why the fashion industry is utilising interactive space and game engines is because the aesthetic is at such a high level now that any real life texture can be represented in a game engine. So any garment, any accessory can be designed as if it would be seen in real life and positioned in a photo real environment. What you choose, what you wear says so much about who you are, how you feel and how you want people to perceive you. So fashion is not just a message to the outside world, but it's also a way of us all communicating who we are as creators. Probably the biggest change for the fashion industry was during the first industrial revolution and the introduction of the sewing machine. That is when the industry really shifted from something which was largely home-based into something which could become a lot more factory industrial focused. That's where the industry really was created. Traditionally, you would see designers sketch something out on a piece of paper, hand that over to a pattern cutter, who would then begin to create that piece. The technologies that are existing today are allowing us to create immediately in 3D and start to redefine that workflow. And we're getting much quicker to a place where production can be made so much faster. If you think about the physical fashion industry and all the limitations that it has of pattern cutting, of putting seams together, materials, but if you think about the digital-only fashion industry, we get to create digital-only materials that cannot exist in the physical world. We get to create patterns that you cannot put together in the physical world. So as we shift from that idea of what the first industrial revolution is to what many people are describing as the fourth industrial revolution, that entire digitization of our industry is where there is massive opportunity for projects that we want to deliver and the scope of what we'll be able to explore using all of the new tools that are becoming available to us is some really groundbreaking projects that make us question how fashion is created and how we engage with it. And the reason why I started diving into the 3D technology is because I realised that there were limitations in terms of creating things that didn't exist. Clothing for me is almost like costume. I don't approach models in the traditional sense, I approach them more from the gaming industry side of things where you're creating characters and it's more about that kind of personality you're trying to give a certain character within that world. Unreal Engine is allowing us to explore 3D worlds and place people right into those experiences. 
And in so many ways, it's removing all of the constraints that the physical world has on us. The traditional catwalk show is an event that is just for the elite. However, through the use of game engine technology, Unreal, for example, in fashion, what's happening is the fact that we can create immersive experiences that are easily distributed to many more people. And that means that many more people become part of the equation and also influence the, the fashion landscape. And that, for me, it makes our industry a more diverse, inclusive place where distinct and diverse talent is able to flourish and is given the opportunities to flourish. What is the most exciting part about digital experiences and digital fashion is that we have such endless creativity to explore and so many different versions of ourselves that we could begin to create. To me, fashion is how we express ourselves. It's an extra expression of who we are. As we move from traditional into digital way of doing things, we are now able to wear anything we want at any time on any platform. And I think that that's really interesting because it means that we can express ourselves in completely different ways that we may not be comfortable doing in the physical world. When we at The Fabric and sold our first digital-only garment for $9,500 on the blockchain, that was the first time that the fashion industry started seeing that you do not need to make a physical product anymore. And that to me is a turning point where all fashion brands started looking at digital as a viable solution for their business model. Fashion used to be quite an expensive business to get into. Materials, equipment, all of that were kind of prohibitively expensive. And for so many people, a big barrier to entry. Now the way in which you can create fashion is kind of limited to a laptop and internet connection. If you have those two, you have the possibility to create digital fashion and digital experiences. That is really placing control into the hands of an entirely new generation of creator. A great place to start is Unreal Engine, and there are lots of resources out there for you to tap into. And in this series, you'll be creating your own interactive fashion experience.